So, Smile was written and directed by Parker Finn and his stars Sosie Bacon, Kyle Gallner, Jesse T. Usher, Cal Penn. And it's about this woman who works at a psychiatric hospital. She witnesses a very traumatizing event that you see in the trailers that uh, a woman kills herself in front of the main character. Afterwards, she begins noticing strange patterns in her life. She sees this creepy smile everywhere. She doesn't know if it's real or if it's fake. And that's basically the entire movie. So this was a movie that I was not looking forward to whatsoever. It's not that the premise looked bad. It's not that the trailers were bad by any means. But the trailers were playing in front of every single movie that I saw this year so far. Ever since Top Gun Maverick came out, Smile has been promoted in front of everything. If it was a PG-13 movie, it was just a one-minute trailer. If it was an R-rated movie, it was the actual trailer. And it just got annoying after a while. So I just figured, okay, once this movie finally comes out, I will stop seeing this trailer everywhere. And so I saw this movie about last week, and honestly, it's fine. There's some good things in it. There are some things I really don't like in it, but I'll, I'll get into that. So what works? Uh, the acting, for the most part, is pretty good. Sosie Bacon, she plays the lead character in this movie. I thought she was really good in this movie. Cal Gallner as her ex in this movie, I thought he was decent. Uh, Caitlin Stassi, who plays the girl at the beginning, who is very traumatized and eventually kills herself. That's not really a spoiler. But I thought she did a good job. I thought she was really creepy throughout the movie. Um, also, Jesse T. Usher, who, you know, I thought he's really good. In, he's really good on the boys. Here, he's okay. But, like, once you figure out later, like, why some things are happening, you kind of see, like, why his performance isn't necessarily that great. Because his character is kind of so thinly written, I would say. And, honestly, the movie is generally pretty scary. There are a lot of good jump scares throughout the movie. They actually got me, surprisingly. And there's a lot of great build-up and great atmosphere throughout this entire movie. It was definitely a very creepy... Yeah, definitely a very creepy experience to just watch this movie. Uh, the score I thought was really good, and uh, the sound design was also very interesting as well. That was really well done. Um, I also kind of felt like it played kind of like an 80s movie. Like, I can imagine this was a movie that would, that would come out in the middle of the 80s during the horror craze and something like that. And I kind of like the idea of where they're kind of playing with what's real and what isn't throughout the first half of the movie. The movie definitely changes course halfway through, but I kind of like that aspect where it's like you're not really entirely sure what's real, what isn't. Is this a figment of her imagination or not? So I kind of dug that throughout the first half of the movie. The second half of the movie, not so much. I think the second half of this movie is where it kind of just starts falling apart. Mainly the tone of this movie is not that great. Um, the tone is, it tries to be both a very serious movie, but at the same time, tries to be a cheesy movie as well. There are moments, there are moments in this movie where I honestly wanted to start laughing because it just looks so ridiculous. Again, again, kind of going back to the whole 80s thing where it's like some of those horror movies back then seemed a little cheesy and then we look back at them, they look pretty ridiculous now. I feel like that movie was, I feel like Smile was trying to emulate those movies but at the same time, it tried to be a very serious horror movie, kind of something like uh, something along the lines of something like, say, Hereditary. But it definitely didn't work. I felt the styles were just kind of clashing a bit throughout the entire movie, and it was more apparent as it went on. Also, there are just moments where it's just completely unexplained whatsoever. It kind of just cuts away from that, and they never explain, like, what happened afterwards. It was just, okay, this is happening. What's going to happen now? Okay, next scene. Oh, okay. You're not going to explain anything about that. It's just... You're not going to explain that. Whatsoever. Okay. Oh well. And also, the movie is just not subtle whatsoever. I don't know what's going on with films these days. They're just not subtle. Like, they're just not subtle whatsoever. Like, this movie literally has an entire scene where they pretty much just say how this thing spreads... And I kind of figured it out before all these characters did because the movie is just not subtle whatsoever. So it feels like it just has this need to say it out loud what this thing does to spread. And I'm like, yeah, I kind of figured that. It just makes a lot of sense. And like, do you think I'm dumb because I, you didn't say it out loud? No, I got it before you did. And also, let's talk about the ending quick. I'm not going to spoil it by any means, but the ending, I feel like the ending may offend some people. And I don't know how I feel about the ending. Part of me is a little offended by the ending at the same time. It's kind of what I saw coming. And I just, I feel mixed about it because I have defended movies with endings like this before. 
And now I kind of want to look back at those movies and say, look back at those movies and think if they were actually good endings or not. So I guess it made me think about that. Uh, the ending here, it just, it's kind of just an ending that just, it's kind of a cliffhanger. And I just didn't really care for it, especially some of the things that happen in the end. It's just something that I was just uncomfortable with. And again, I have defended movies that have this sort of ending before. So I don't know if it's because I'm trying to be more cautious towards that thing and kind of just realizing like that, how harmful some of these movies can be at times. But this is one of those times where I'm like, no, I, I don't think that's okay. I really just don't think that's okay for any movie really. So, Smile, even though there are some good things in it, the acting's good and the build-up and atmosphere is great and production-wise it is really good and I kind of like the way it plays with your mind a bit, I just didn't really care for the tone of the movie. I didn't care for some of the things that just aren't explained. I didn't care for its lack of subtlety. I didn't care for the ending. I feel like this movie is all right, but... It's all it's good for like the first half, but then the second half is where it kind of just starts falling apart and kind of just can't really decide what it really wants to be. Imagine if a movie like, say, Hereditary was made by someone like Sam Raimi. I guess that's the best way to describe this movie. So I will give Smile two and a half out of four stars. Stream it. So what was the last horror movie to really creep you out? Uh, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel. This is Pat and stay safe.